Hi everybody, welcome to Beyond the Lines. My name is Sarah. I'm the artist by Pencil Geschichten. I love coloring and colors and everything that is artsy in my studio. And uh, today I'm going to finish a page. Uh, last week I had started in the Outlander coloring book uh, with the underpainting for this particular page here. And uh, today I'm going to finish this one off with a few Faber-Castell uh, pit brush pens and just intensify stuff and bring everything together and next week I'm going to work in the magical city so we'll see what comes up then but for now enjoy watching along and see how I did this welcome back everybody it's time to do some more coloring so last week I uh, worked with the Tombow markers here that I liquefied and now I want to work with um, the either the those same Tombows or the Faber-Castell pit pens to well just um, intensify things and make them cohesive so I'm not going to liquefy anything anymore and I'm going to work foreground to background now and see where I want to add what just to uh, complete this page. I'm having cardstock behind the paper because you see it did bleed through but that was because of the water and not the ink and I'm starting with the shading of the face just adding a tiny bit of uh, pigment there. He's not looking very happy, so I'm guessing uh, we are actually in the book. We are actually in the 18th century century already with Claire and this is just what we saw in the TV show but not in the book of him being uh, frustrated trying to find her and well not getting that's my coffee machine not getting a lot of help So for the hat here, I'm taking a warm gray, the pit pens to add a bit of detail. And uh, now I need to choose what color I want for that band. I think this one. Yeah, why not? So I'm going to take warm brown there just add a tiny bit bit of the tie needs shading. Um, his shirt is actually white so I'm going to take a cold gray, gray a light one, to shade that. So I left it white didn't add any tombow marker to the shirt i didn't think frank would wear colored shirts so i'm going in with a warm gray again just feathering in a bit more pigment just to 
to shade. gonna use the same brown for uh, the leather of the bag and again I'm feathering that uh, pigment in or out depending just to have that almost uh, cartoon uh, or, or comic print uh, look going on. Okay. Need a tiny bit of something for the uh, metal part here and I'm saying it's copper so I'm can work with that. Just need to 
shade his pants and then I can already go to the car and then decide, okay, what do I want to do with the background? But I wouldn't shade him any more than that. So just that's actually enough already. Really rather rather simple. Just a few lines. And you have shading going on underneath the coat. See? Frank is done. It's fairly simple. Now I can go to those leaves and I wanna have repetition with the golden green here. So I'm just gonna squiggle in some pigment there, not being precise. And then I can go to the car. Now I'm not having any sage color in in uh, the Faber Castells, so I'm just gonna go back to the Tombow marker and just use that without liquefying the pigment on the parts that I already colored with that sage tone. Especially here with uh, the, uh, what's it called, ivory? Is it called ivory? That plant, you know, that Grows everywhere just to add a bit more pigment here. plants I'm not gonna work on the background at all I'm just gonna leave it as it is but these trees here are actually mid ground mid ground so Frank and the car are foreground all the trees here and the fence and everything this is mid ground and that green bush stuff in the back that is the background so I'm just adding squiggles here. I'm not going to color everything solid with the ivory. Uh, same goes for the leaves here. I'm just just going to add a bit of dots to have interest increased, but not to color everything on top of the liquefied tomboy, you know, just little top, 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 top. That is enough already. It, your eye will fill in the rest and the uh, loose, unfocused look of light and shadow actually increases the idea that this is a bit further away. Okay, now I need a dark brown for the twigs and the stems. Just a bit of bit of pigment. Not too much here. I'm just going to squiggle in shading with that big tree trunk. I'm not gonna color the whole trunk. 
just work with the lines that are already given to me by the uh, artist. I think I forgot these leaves. Yeah, they were a bit too light. Okay. So let's go to the fence and see that it's dark enough already to... Yeah, it's dark enough at least for the uh, stone here. I'm just going to add a bit of pigment there. Now I'm going to go a bit darker, again of the same cold grey, to add details on the fence. on the car itself but not too much just a little bit Thank you. 
going to use the same light blue that I used, just a tiny bit here for the details. bit of light blue just a touch there we go uh, since I do have the grays uh, I can actually go outlining some of the cobblestones here just a little bit well not outlining but like adding a few squiggly lines just to put them into the foreground a bit more. And add a few shadow lines on the tires. But not too much. The other one. Now for the red, the red, the red, the red of the car. Now, let me see if I find, yep, that's a cold red. I'm just going to intensify the color of some parts.
more on the front. So you see by me having the um, uh, the shading done on Frank rather well let's say in a manner that um, is very very spacious so uh, almost all of Frank has the uh, Faber Castells on top but the further I go to the background the less I do that see here at the car which is still kind of foreground but it has um, it's just behind Frank so I'm just going to add lines there and uh, play with a pattern that's already given on this uh, on this car but I'm not gonna shade solid you know just those feathered in lines just a bit okay More here. All right, I need a little bit more of the cold gray dark, just a tiny bit here, and there. And that would be a page of Frank. Now let me see if I need to add anything else. Just gonna stand up and look from far. I think I'm good. I'm not gonna add anything. So there is. I'm gonna zoom you out a, a slight bit. So there it is. This is the page. Um, it's gonna wanna come loose again, so I'm going to uh, going to cut this page. But you see, with just a tiny bit of detail on top of a base layer, what you can achieve. Um, you have the painterly look, uh, watercolory look of the Tombos, and you have the comic cartoon straight line, straight clean shading of the uh, Faber Castells and it's it's really very very easy to do that you just have to be brave with the first layer once you have that down you can rein it in and control you know so this is what I like uh, to do when um, the line work given to me is very comic-y, very cartoony, reminds me a lot of, say, Marvel or DC uh, comics. Um, it's, it's just so clean uh, with the black lines that are given that I want to adjust the way I color by using certain materials that I maybe not use in on 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 other uh, pages like I said for example here this is very different yeah. move frank a bit so it's very different uh, this is way more natural looking this is way more cartoonish just from the colors and the way the line work is done, for example. Same, 
same goes here. So it's almost the same color scheme. It's grays, reds, green, sage green. I used the same colors pretty much, but still this looks way more cartoony by the way the line work is laid down, by the way it's painted or, or drawn. And I like to adjust that when I do the coloring. So there you go. This goes here. I'm gonna put that away in a minute. I hope you enjoyed watching along. Maybe you got inspired. Maybe you saw something that you haven't tried before. Try it. Be brave. It's just a coloring book. Um, and if you want to apply the same principle to your own drawings and so on and so forth, go ahead. It's really very, very easy. It might be scary at first, but just give it a go, give it a try and uh, see what you can achieve with it. If you have questions or comments, as per usual, please leave them in the comment section below. The uh, blog post will be up in a minute or two. I'm gonna have all the materials that I used listed there. I'm gonna have close-up photos and stuff. Um, I'm also gonna have a uh, mentioning of how long it actually took me all in all to color this page. And uh, I'm going to see you next week. Uh, let me give you a teaser, just a second. Next week, I'm going to color in the Magical City again. There's uh, things coming up. <laughs> but um, I haven't decided yet how to approach Ooh, I'm sorry. Oh god, it's late when I, th that I'm filming this. I'm gonna have this page colored, but I haven't approached the... What do I want to do yet? Um, I, I haven't done that yet, so I cannot tease. But it's gonna be there next week, folks, so don't worry. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day. Do all the good YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to see you next week again on Beyond the Lines. Thanks again for watching. Bye.